The U.S. is putting boots on the ground in Syria. President Barack Obama says the deployment will be an initial group of around 50 special forces personnel for training and advice embedded with what the White House is calling dependable elements of the Free Syrian Army. He authorized a small complement of U.S. Special Operations Forces to deploy to northern Syria where they will help to coordinate local ground forces and coalition efforts in order to counter Daesh. But at the end of the day, the United States and our coalition partners believe that there is absolutely nothing that would do more to fight Daesh than to achieve a political transition. The air umbrella will also be enlarged with President Obama's deployment of fresh ground attack warthogs and F-15s to Incirlik Air Base in Turkey. The NATO facility is already in use for American and Turkish sorties against ISIL. In recent weeks, it's the Russians who've been masters of the Syrian skies, hitting ISIL, but more often allege the opposition anti-government forces, some of whom are being helped and armed by the Americans. They will welcome the extra U.S. air support. The policy pivot includes other measures, a new special operations force in Erbil in northern Iraq, and intensified cooperation with Iraqis in retaking Ramadi to hurt ISIL from the east and expanded security assistance to Jordan and Lebanon.